I think we entered this competition because we knew we had a great idea, we knew we had a, a, a pretty good product, um, we needed a platform to really launch it and the fact you have to get Facebook loads, it forces us to do the PR, to do the marketing and really get some traction with our products. On the social media thing, we didn't just ask to vote for us every single day, but we tried to make it a bit more fun or viral, so the, the initial share would be because it's a funny photo or something like that, just to kind of get the audience as big as possible. One of the key things we did is we, we asked people a question, we'd send them the video and instead of saying can you vote, you just start a conversation with people. So we'd put it on a cycling forum and not say can you please please vote for us for this competition, what do you think of the product and suddenly you've got a huge conversation going back and forward between 50-60 people that you can get involved in um, and then at the end say that in order to launch this product if you want to see it then you're going to have to vote for us. So it was secondary to get the votes but first to create some interest and I think that's one of the things I think separated us from, from the other people in the competition. The mentoring lunch for us was, was great because we pushed really hard to win this competition but I think with this mentoring lunch it's allowed to think what's next. I think we've got a much more focused goal now after this mentoring lunch. We've got a list of things that we can actually go away and do, keep going forward with it. I think the best advice is to really focus on just one thing and just have that one product from that product then create other ones. The overall price package is going to help us a lot because we can talk to these guys more, we can talk to them whenever you want to in terms of advice and you can use those guys as a sounding board for ideas or what we're going to go forward doing. Companies like Borrow are massively helpful to us, to anyone really. We'd like to extend our painting internationally just to protect ourselves a bit more, finish up all the sort of prototypes and then the next thing is going to really push the marketing out there and start a marketing campaign and make sure that we can actually get some confirmed orders. With the £10,000 I think it's really going to help us to launch our, launch our product and launch our business.